Hi there, Intergoast here, and today I'm going to do a room tour. Um, a few people are doing these recently, so I thought I'd just show what I've got in my games room. I haven't done one of these since um, I converted my garage into a games room. I'll put a link below to the original footage of what the, ga what the garage looked like and how I did it up uh, below if you want to have a look at that. Um, but yeah, I'll show you what I've got in here. It's a friendly YouTube host since a ghost. So yeah, if we enter, as you can see, it is a bit of a dumping ground. Um, with COVID happening, everything got turfed out of the house and dumped on the floor, as you can see. Uh, got a few boxes everywhere. But yeah, I'll just go through some of the things that I have. So as you walk in, this is a uh, the gaming setup as it were um, bit of a mess needs tidying up one of the reasons I'm doing this video is because I'm going to rearrange this whole room and then you can see what it is before and after so I've got my um, original Game Boy there being held by Mario underneath here we've got the ZX Spectrum Plus 2 um, oh, behind my son's bike I don't know if you can see that it's the old VHS player I've got a, what are they called, Crystal Clear Xbox, um, I don't use it as an Xbox, I use it as a emulation machine, so that's got pretty much, I don't know, 20,000 ROMs on it. Um, then we've got the PlayStation 4, which is what my son uses most of the time, linked up to the VR, which doesn't get much love anymore, but yeah, it's there. Uh, under here, we've got the... Mega Drive 2 with a EverDrive cart and we've got the Super Nintendo, my original one which I got for Christmas uh, back when I was about, I don't know, 13 or something like that. Got my Super Game Boy in there and that's the EverDrive cart there at the side and then of course got the GameCube there with the uh, GBA converter on the bottom. Under here we've just got some Select Spectrum games. Uh, I've got this, it's like a ceiling hanger, which uh, my friend Paul got me from, I want to say, where was it, Game Station before they shut down, uh, so that was pretty cool, he gave me that, um, we've got a few strategy guides coming down, a uh, couple of figures I picked up, um, what's the name, is it Jin Erso, that's it, from Rogue One, Got the big woolly Yoshi there at the back, and um, Andrea from the Walking Dead comics, rather than the films, uh, not the films, the TV programs, which are pretty crap. Um, these need to be hung up, but I've got my um, Red Dwarf signed pictures, which need to go back up on the wall. Awesome. Uh, yeah, just cupboards full of junk, really. Uh, PlayStation 4 games. Don't really have many, really. Uh, got Scorponok. Amazing uh, Transformer figure. Some Pokemon stuff down there. Piles of junk. What we got here? Dungeons and Dragons, that's, my, that's Jack's. Um, Stranger Things. A couple of board games. What we got here? Quest. Effect Fieldings Ghosts. Uh, got lots so down there. Um, so at the top we got PlayStation 2 games with a couple of Game Gears as well. Um, got a couple of Atari Lynx Model 2 and Model 1 in there. A um, couple of Super Nintendo games which I've kept. Uh, obviously I've got the EverDrive so I don't really need the cartridges anymore. Game Boy Advance, uh, DS, Lynx games. Then we've got my Toki Arcade thing for the Switch. Uh, these are my remaining GameCube games. Not many, just a select few which I want to keep. A couple of Xbox exclusive games which I picked up. I'm not really into Xbox. Uh, down here we've got um, Wii games. And a couple of boxes for um, special editions. Uh, these are the Game Boy boxes I want to keep. I've actually got a, a box here, it's not Pampers, 
which is full of Game Boy boxes. I'm not into collecting the boxed games, I just want the cartridges, so I'll be getting rid of those. Um, another Game Boy Advance there. Down here, oh, just be able to see, I've got a few PlayStation 1 games. Again, a select few. They're all my um, ZX Spectrum tapes, double stacked in there, and that's a box full of um, Atari Lynx games in there. That's all my Atari Lynx cartridges. I'm not going to get them all out, it's quite a few. Um, moving along, we've got my uh, He Man figures and a few, I don't know if you can see those, um, Transformers originals the top there and behind there we've got the fighting fantasy books and some nightmare books from the TV series I've uh, got my real Ghostbuster figures a couple of turtle figures I've got rid of most of them these are just a couple I thought were pretty cool and I want to keep then we go down we got my um, Playmobil Ghostbusters so I've got pretty much all of the original ones here with the car and the fire station. Down again we got more Wii games, some cassettes which I need to go through, it's got old recordings of myself and my friends on them, some what are they called, bad taste bears, I used to collect a few of those. Some more board games, Formula D, that's a good one. More books, Mario plushy thing. Uh, Zombies which is a board game, that's pretty cool. And then we've got more books down the bottom, which you can't see. Ah, oh, what else have we got? So we've got Ghostbuster figures. What's that? Akira. Have you seen that? Um, Last Action Hero. Scream. Got my Pit Boy. Got another Spectrum tucked behind there and a Zapper gun. Um, going down. These are. It's, it's a bit random. These are just small toys which I've kept. Got uh, and then Catwoman, Rainbow Bright, some Mario stuff, Lynx badge, um, Austin Powers, and then you know several books behind there which I'm reading through. Again, a few more figures. So we've got these which I bought when I was sort of about 10, 12 years old. I uh, got some Torchwood, Fallout, Lord of the Rings, Mega Man, Pokemon. More books. Oh yeah, got the uh, the original 80s Sword of Fundera, the toy. Um, this is pretty much junk. It's just magic cards and games and stuff. My hammer beads at the back. Um, things which need sorting. <laughs> my Elgato. This is my Game Boy. Do you remember I pulled my Game Boy apart? Haven't had a chance to put it back together yet. Another series which I'm meant to be doing. This is pretty cool. This is a uh, picture my brother got me one year, like that. So yeah, and at the top we got just some plushies, old. These are just old toys I've uh, collected over the years. Probably see some of those in my uh, 80s kid videos. Over here, what have we got? A few more board games stuffed on the top. We've got the power pack for the um, Atari ST as well. These are all my Terry Pratchett books going all the way along here. Um, along with, I sort of collect up some of the Rubik's Cube variants. So we've got the clock, um, what was that, the sphere or the ball, um, the void, regular one, slide, uh, Revo, snake. Also got another one down here. Um, what's it called? Is it mirrors? Illusions. Um, gold Duggery, which my son's really into. This is actually an old cow horn, which uh, we dug up in my parents' garden when I was very young. They used to have a farm on the land and uh, found an old cow horn. Random. Um, Game of Thrones books behind there and uh, Red Wall, if you've ever read them. These are my plushies for the couplings. I've got all of them. Collected them from different Comic Cons over the years. Down here we've got the left, what we've got left of my Atari ST big box games. 
got the Lego Ghostbusters car, uh, some rabbits. Um, I've also got a box full of the discs, single discs up in the loft. Uh, so I've got loads of Atari ST games, but these are the actual sort of boxed ones I've got left. I've got all the um, Guinness World Records gamers editions there throughout the years. So I get one every year now. More books behind there, Harry Potter and uh, Red Dwarf. Down here are just a couple of um, PC games which I've kept. These are just sort of like iconic ones I had growing up. So Simon the Sorcerer, Leisure Suit Larry, um, Indiana Jones, Duke Nukem, War of the Worlds, and then we got a few jewel case ones and a few DVD style box ones, all the sim games and that sort of thing. Uh, a couple more um, Spectrum games. And then down here I've gone a bit crazy with the VHS collecting. These are all sort of, um, I've managed to get these for free or very cheap. Um, also got the Sonic Money Box, a couple of LCD games. Um, that's a Commodore 64 plug and play and a USB joystick. I won't go through all the videos because there's too many of them. Uh, got some old comics down here. So we've got the, what are these? Yeah, these are the Transformer ones and Turtles. Um, what's that? Ghostbusters, I think. Yeah, real Ghostbusters. Tazos. Um, got these are my old Nintendo magazines. Uh, the stuff behind here, I don't know if we're going to get behind here, but um, we've got some annuals here. So Transformers, Thundercats, Ghostbusters, Banana Man. A um, bunch of comics in there. Um, comics I need to sort into the rest. These are triple stacked um, VHS videos i got. And a box on them down here, and I've also got another load of them behind here these all need sorting out I'm not going to keep all these there's too many of them I'll keep the cool ones get rid of the rest um, got happy console gamer movie and some angry video game discs on there uh, these are three tubs full of um, Skylanders and Disney infinity figures got absolutely loads of those gonna think of a way to display them because they are really cool figures and it'd be nice to have them on like a uh, maybe a thin shelf going along the wall or maybe right at the top so you can actually see all those because they are really nice figures um, so yeah that's what I got so far like I said sorry about the mess it's become a bit of a dumping ground and um, needs sorting out but once I have it all sorted and a better um, gaming setup I will do another video hope you enjoyed that hope you saw some cool things there sorry it's very quick um, if you want to see anything in detail just pause the video and uh, see what I got thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video cheers